Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and today we're getting back into a psalm a day, and we're going over Psalm 66. So let's get into it. Make a joyful noise unto Elohim, all you lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto Elohim, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. So it's a good thing to praise the Most High, always. No matter what you're going through, no matter what circumstance, situation, no matter what people think, this is something that we are supposed to do. This is something that is inside of us. But in this awakening, a lot of times it's frowned upon. Um, it's almost like there's, it's only you know the the old testament or the or the the torah and there's no praising the most high but this is something that we're supposed to do because this is this is one of the the keys or the key of david uh this is a part of the keys to the kingdom this is what unlocks things for you so don't let anybody guilt trip you into thinking it's a bad thing to praise the most high cuz it's not it's what we're supposed to do all the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Selah. So it don't matter if you're a man or a woman. It says all the earth is supposed to sing to the Most High. That's everybody. It's something that we're all supposed to be doing. Because he does so much for us every day. That's the least we can do to a father that's not a deadbeat. In this awakening, they treat worshiping or or singing praises to the Most High like he's a deadbeat dad. Like you don't want nothing to do with him. He's not. <laughs> he's that dad that's that's in your life. Every facet, every part. You don't have to worry about child support because he's there. Financially, physically, mentally, spiritually. So go ahead and give that, give that praise up to the Most High. Give him that sacrifice, that free will sacrifice. Come and see the works of Elohim. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. How do you turn <laughs> sea into dry land? How, how, how do you part seas like that? What kind of power is that? But you don't want to praise him, though, because it, it, it's not manly to praise the Most High. When David did it, and he was happy, he was proud to do it. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves, say Allah, because he's paying attention. Like, okay, what y'all going to say? And how are y'all going to say that y'all were able to subdue all these nations and people? Or just these things. You're going to say you did it with your own power? Or are you going to give me praise? Because all the earth is supposed to be singing praise and worshiping the Most High. Let everything that have breath praise you, Yahuwah. But no. But no. I'm a man, so I'm not supposed to do that, though. I'm a part of a camp, so I, I ain't got to do that, though. But David did. <laughs> David did that thing, though. Right? Oh, bless our Elohim, you people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Wait, make it heard. So don't just sing in private, privately. No, make it make it heard. Make sure that they know who you sing in praise to. And make sure that they know why you're singing praise. This is what we're supposed to do because we got to remember one thing about David one thing that we've been going over he is a master of manifestation now if you don't want these manifestations or these prayers or beliefs or visions that you believe that the most High has given you to happen then then disregard what I'm saying right now just don't 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 even worry about it <laughs> you know it's not like it's in the book <laughs> it's not like it's in the book <laughs> which beholdeth or which holdeth our soul in life and suffereth not our feet to be moved that's what our Elohim does. Because our lives are in his hands. He restoreth our souls. 
but we, we don't have to praise him though. He, he don't really need that. He don't want it. I mean, he don't need it, but this is something that he does require, require of us at the same time. For thou, O Elohim, has proved us. Thou has tried us as silver is tried. Because you have to go through the fire. You have to go through fire and water. You have to be changed. You have to be conformed. You have to uh, put on that new body. You have to. Thou bringest us into the net. Thou laidst affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire. Uh-oh. And through what? And through water. You have to go through fire. You have to go through water. You have to go through a transformation. If you want to see the manifestation. You have to go through a transformation if you want to see your manifestations. One more time. You have to go through a transformation if you want to see your manifestations. But thou brought us us out into a wealthy place. Because that's what he did. He takes you through the fire and the water and the tribulations where people are exalted above you to bring you to a place of wealth and prosperity and favor and blessings and love. Ahava in Hebrew. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings or free will offerings. I will pay thee my vows. I'm, I'm going to do what I told you that I was going to do because you, Yahuwah is good and his mercy endureth forever. Which my lips have uttered and my mouth have spoken. When I was in trouble. So when I was in trouble, I said I was going to do these things. That's why I'm doing these things, because I am a man of my or a woman of my word, which my lips have uttered and my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee burnt sacrifices of fatlings with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks with goats. Selah. So he's doing these things uh, on purpose. He's not worried about, you know, how much money he has left after doing these things. It's, again, this is a free will sacrifice. He's doing it because that's what's in his heart. Praise is what he does, even when he's going through, just like the song says, right? Come in here, all you that fear Elohim, and I will declare what he have done for my soul. Because that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be letting each other know what the Most High has done for us to help to strengthen us. Because these testimonies is what helps us through the, the new test that we're going through, the trials and tribulations of life. But we got to get this, um, I don't really want to say camp mentality, uh, out of us thinking that we're not supposed to be doing these things. Now, if you don't want to make it to the next level um, with the most high, if you don't want to have manifestations happen, if you don't want to unlock um, the kingdom of heaven within you, if you don't want to use the key of David that's within you, then, again, disregard what I'm saying. Just disregard it. So again, come in here, all you that fear Elohim, and I will declare what he have done for my soul. I cried unto him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, Yahuwah will not hear me. So don't, don't, yeah, you can't have no iniquity in your heart. Repent, and for the kingdom of heaven is nigh. Because it's sin, sin is what, what separates us from the Most High. But verily, Elohim hath heard me. Remember him, he's ready to forgive. So repent of those sins. He hath attended to my voice. Uh, he hath attended to the voice of my prayer. So he listened to my to the voice of my prayer. Because he's ready to forgive. He's, he's, a, he's an avid listener. That's, that's just what he is. That's who he is. Blessed be Elohim, which have not turned away my prayers. So he, he doesn't turn away your prayers. Nor his mercy, nor his chesed from me. <laughs> Because he's a loving father. He's a forgiving father. Um, and again, Yahuwah is good in his mercy. <clears throat> his mercy endureth forever. So again, while you have breath inside your body, praise Yahuwah. It don't matter. Make it to be heard. You know, tell the testimonies of what the Most High has done for you. Everything in Christianity was not wrong. So we got to keep it a buck. Because there's, there's everything, just like everything in this awakening right now, it's not right. <laughs> it's not right and exact. We got to keep it a buck fifty uh, with that one. So, Father, um, we just want to ask for the forgiveness of our sins and the sins of our ancestors, Father. We thank you for your mercy, which you're doing forever. Uh, we thank you for your love. We thank for you. Uh, we're, uh, we are thankful for you having a uh, forgiving heart 
We thank you for being ready to forgive. We thank you for being um, attent unto our prayers and for not turning our prayers away. We thank you for loving us, Father. We thank you that your mercy is from everlasting to everlasting, Father. Um, we thank you, Father, for the breath of life. We thank you for each and every day. We don't take our lives for granted, Father. We thank you for protecting us and keeping us, Father, uh, in your pavilion, Father, under the shadow of your wings, Father. Thank you, Father, for your riding and your staff comforting us, Father. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, Father, and we shall dwell in the house of Yahuwah forever, Father. Thank you, Father, for each and everything, Father, each and every day, Father. Uh, all these things, and we just want to ask for you to send your healing and your protection, your love to your mores, to your people, those that are called by your name, for your name's sake, Father. Um, protect us, keep us, heal us, Father, and show us the way to go and lead us and guide us, Father, and help us not to lean on to our own understanding, Father. All these things we do ask and pray in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, Amen. So again, this was a psalm a day. This was Psalm 66, and this is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly. Salama. Whoa.